Hello again, Jackson here. Welcome to the channel. Nice to have you as always. So yeah, I use AI a lot. You know, every day in my working WordPress world, I use AI, you know, whip up a quick function, some tweaks to some codes, a short code maybe, you know, quite a lot of JavaScript these days. Very useful for that. I don't use the kind of like full site building tools out there, you know, plumb in a prompt and see what happens. If, don't get me wrong, there's some brilliant ones of that. But my vibe is more I, I get a design, I build it, or I create a design and I build that, or steal a design, whatever. And I don't think some of those platforms are quite where they need to be yet, and it's not really kind of my thing anyway. But what I do like, what I really like, is having functionality in the back end, right inside WordPress admin. The sort of stuff that you'd have to go and use a service like make.com or n8n io those kind of like really powerful automation platforms that you can plumb into ai and get responses and then based on those responses we can take things in a different i mean that for me is fun and that's really useful i mean you know me i love a bit of automation i love a funnel i love a bit of using ai for the right purposes and boy did we do, boy did i just have some fun with a quite bonkers scenario with forms being filled in, sending it to AI based on the AI responses, creating outputs and funnels and flows and all sorts of crazy stuff. And I'm using the quite brilliant, one of the best in class for this stuff right inside the WordPress admin. It's the BitFlows plugin. So come on then, wanna have some fun? Okay then, well here's our demo site which we're going to have some fun with. The etiquette of love. Oh yes, pretty big subject. Quite easy to get wrong, so I'm told. Anyway, it is an online community knowledge sharing type of platform. It sells courses. There's the uh, current course it's on offer, the modern guide to the etiquette of love. Uh, it's got a community. That's also where the courses are stored. So with any good online business these days, what you need is a lead magnet, a value-packed offering to get the folks that visit your website onto your email list. Okay, so what is theirs? Well, it's a free love letter. There it is, the love letter. So what this is, is it is essentially a questionnaire about the person that you're in love with about their personality, about the moments and memories you have of them and their appearances and some personal stuff and what have you. And then what happens is you fill this in and then the website sends you a beautifully crafted love letter based on all the data that it's received from here. And how it does that is it hooks this form into ChatGPT, gives it some parameters to work by, ChatGPT analyzes the questions and the answers and crafts this quite bonkers <laughs> love letter back to the per well to the person that submitted the form and it's a lovely way of getting a li nice little email address on the etiquette of loves email marketing platform which at that point then fires off an email se sequence to try and get them to buy the etiquette course so yeah, should we see see how all this works? Let's let's go and fill our love letter in. Now clearly I'm not gonna write all this in. Oh, by the way, I literally got ChatGPT to give me the questions. So this is for almost from start to finish. This this whole thing is AI orientated. Let's go to our form filling. We'll load all fields. And I actually got ChatGPT to write out the answers as well because clearly there's quite a lot of stuff because we want this to be thorough, right? Okay, so about their personality. Well, it's the name first, Francesca. True story. There's only a bit of truth on this form. Francesca from Bologna. What a lovely lady. What about their personality, their kindness, patience, their passion for painting? How does she make you feel? How do they make you feel? Completely at home. Just remember, just remember some of this because you'll see this will come out in the love letter. It's pretty remarkable. They leave a little more, a little coffee next to me every morning. You know, talking about the hike they went on, their happy and genuine laugh, the little crack in their voice that happens when they get excited, and then just some, you know, some lovey-dovey stuff. And then we put in our name, and I'm only going to just change this to, you know, Jeff, and it's jeff at test.com. Okay, let's create a love letter. Click your submit, form submitted. Love letter is on its way to my inbox, that is. 
Now I'm running WP local local WP and for some reason MailPoet isn't working since my last update. So I can't view the emails on the local server setup. So on the back end of the site, here it is. It's a fairly standard site, got WooCommerce in there, got a few other plugins, which I'll show you in a minute. But also I've got the Fluent SMTP plugin installed because it, it can log the email so we can view what the, the site is sending. Let's refresh that. Here we go, your love letter for Francesca. Let's have a look, blimey. Dear Francesca, every time I sit down to, to contemplate the miracle of our love, oof. <laughs> I find myself endlessly grateful for your presence in my life. Kindness, patience, understanding, your passion for painting, talking about her painting and getting lost on the hike and watching the sunset, talking about the squirrel and the bagel story, about her little cheeky crack in the voice. Uh, that lifts me up when I am and blah 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 you know it's got all the it's got all the deets in it so that's pretty cool so now I can send that off to Francesca and put a little smile on her face and like I said in the background the email marketing platform and it could be anything by the way is sending me a sequence of emails so if I refresh that we will see that obviously I've got set this set to like trigger every minute it sends the, the email sequence. Clearly you want to probably leave that a day. And you see here that we've got another one asking, how did the love letter go down? Well, a little bit of nurturing. Now I probably wouldn't put in the offer straight at the first email, but you kind of kind of catch my drift in the sense that you do a bit of nurturing, classic email sequence, and boom, you put an offer in. Now, at this point, I may, may or may not want to know about the, the course. I could go back onto the website and check out the course and blah, blah, blah. Am I ready to sign up? No, not quite yet. I'm going to go do something else for a little while. So next day, the system sends another one. And this is where we start showing the benefits of the course and all the rest of it, maybe some testimonials or some other stuff. And at this point, I'm going, do you know what? Yeah, I think you know I could really... I could really use some of that extra knowledge. Do you know what? So that I'm going to buy it. And just so you know, now I'm using Fluent CRM to send the email sequence for this, but it could be anything. Let's go over to Bitflows. And you can see that on integrations, there is just literally all of them, pretty much, for marketing automation. You've got all of those get response, MailChimp, MailerLite, Active Campaign, all the big, all the big players there, plus some other CRMs, which are where are they there? HubSpot, even Brevo. So any of these could be, all of these could be being triggered by that form that submitted, and I'll show you all the flows in a minute. But just so you know, at the moment, if we go to my contact, so this would be on whatever platform you're on. Refresh that. You see that Jeff is in there. He's been added to the subscriber list. No checkbox on that form. And he'd be tagged as love letter. And because he's tagged as love letter, the email sequence is running in the background. And like I said, this doesn't have to be fluent CRM, although that's my weapon of choice, as you well know. It could be any of them, MailerLite, Active Campaign, Brevo, all of them. They all do the same thing, send a sequence. So now, well, let's just go and see if the third one's been sent. I'm having a think about this course now. Oh, more reasons to enroll. Oh, it's really got me now. Okay, do you know what? So sort of, I'm going to I'm going to enroll. Uh, let's go to the course. Let's sign up now. Let's get Jeff at test.com. Let's get us in the UK. And if I just bang in one of the old testers. Let's get Jeff back in there. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. Jeff Jones, Jeff Smith. Come on. I'm gonna put in my coupon. Yes, I am. 30% off apply that i'm ready to take my etiquette to the next level let's place the order that's cool now i have bought the course so let's see what the emails that have been sent to me are let's, let's get back to our email log let's refresh there so okay so where were we this is your of love account has been created so that's our woocommerce email ask me i'll set a new password that is our admin email we've got a new order that's jeff's confirmation that his orders received and that that is the automation email that says hey welcome to the modern guide to the etiquette of love course you have immediate access to the course and the private discussion group for the course let's go and have a look so if i go to community now i'm already logged in because i've logged in as part of the checkout and you see i have got access to the course and the members 
If I go to another tab here, which is where Dave is logged on this private tab, Dave's logged in. He doesn't have it because he hasn't bought the course. And all that is automated. So shall we have a look to see how that all was put together? And um, by the way, on our contacts now, Jeff is flagged as a customer and tagged as course. So now we can segment him accordingly. Right, how does this all work? Well, first and foremost, we have got the mighty bit flows installed. Let's go and have a look at the dashboard for that. And we'll see that, oh, there's our conversions over October, doing very well. Right, here's our flows. Now, remember the love letter. That was the first part of this whole AI automated flow. Now, let's get that open. So there's the form. It's actually a, it's a bit form, but again, you could use any form plugin pretty much. Again, look, if we look at the integrations and look at form builders, I mean, it's, it's all of them. <laughs> it's, literally, it's literally all of them. So the form gets submitted. It then gets sent to ChatGPT. Let's have a look at that one. And you add a connection, and that is, by the way, super easy. I'm not going to show you how to do that because it is unbelievably easy. You just go to the link that's provided, assuming that you've got, you know, you create an account and you've added some credit, and you just create a new API key, and you're away to the races. Uh, choose the model you want. Choose the amount of tokens. Then choose assistant, and then the prompt goes in. The following is from a web form to be created and you can choose all the stuff that's come in from the form you know this is all the, the the answers to the questions and you see I've just written it all out like a really decent prompt and at the end saying you know can we format it in html blah 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 uh, so piece of absolute and I, I, I was actually pretty nervous about setting up that connection because sometimes that can be an absolute mare but it's a breeze close that so what happens then well number one the mail gets sent to Jeff. And again, that's kind of taking the, the dynamic data from the form and the dynamic data. There's Francesca's name there. And the dynamic data from ChatGPT, there's, there's the content, my dearest Francesca. Let's close that. So mail done using this router. Now with BitFlows, there's obviously there's lots of triggers. So the form is our trigger here. And then the triggers can then follow actions. So an action is the open AI. The action is the send the mail. The action is add to our mailing list and tag accordingly. And there's, I mean, there's just so much. I mean, just have a look, just go through this. There's just so much you can connect to and all the rest of it. You can send it to Trello. You can send it to Excel spreadsheets. You can send it to Google Sheets. You can send it all over the place. But also it has this other stuff. Which, now, if you've, if you've used N8N at all, then you, you'll know about things like router. So that's basically what I've got going there. So do this and do this as well. Conditions, that's pretty cool. Show you that in a second on the next flow. Delays, iterator. This is where you might want to take different chunks of the the data that's coming into it and, and feed it to, it to different places. Repeater loop, so you can just keep doing stuff until, some, you know, delay for one minute, check again, delay one minute, check again, delay one, that kind of thing. Brilliant. JSON pass, XML, CSV, and a few other stuff that's planned. So the tools kind of help you sew it all together. And I'll show you a little bit more about that in a bit on the next one. And so that's the basic flow, using the AI to create the content, to provide the value to the customer. All very, very simple stuff. And so the CRM, which I'm using Fluent here, doesn't need to be, could be any of them. So you'd send that to your MailerLite, tag them, and one, once it's tagged in MailerLite, then you get the email sequence. So the next flow is when they actually buy it. And that is the core sale. So we're saying, there's a little bit, slightly more to it on this one, but we're saying when a new WooCommerce order comes in, we are going to check a condition, check if it's the course, the specific course. And we can look at here and go, is this product ID 150, which is the product ID of the etiquette course? If it is, go on to do this. If it's not, just stop. So if you're selling other stuff, you know, like the other products you might sell. And then we're going to throw in a router and then it's going to create or update uh, our email marketing platform with the data. This immediately stops that previous email sequence running because it flags them as a customer and on our email sequence because we've got conditions in that as well where it says after you know wait a day send an email if they're not a customer wait a day send an email if they're not a customer but now we've tagged them as 
a customer, then it will go, oh, they're a customer now. We don't need now to keep going with this email sequence. You get me? And you can map the fields. Again, the stuff that's been brought in from the WooCommerce order being placed. Very cool stuff. Same goes for adding them to their course, the course platform. They bought the course. You want to automate them adding it to them. You don't want to be doing that manually. And I'm using Fluent Community for the courses, as you've seen. But it could be anything. I mean, if you go to integrations again, let's go to LMS. They're all there. Lifter, LearnDash, Tutor. They're all there. All the major players are there. And so it adds them to the course. And also it adds them to the private discussion group for the course. And you use the customer ID as the user ID, which is basically what's coming from WooCommerce. And you give it, you choose the space ID number. Now, I would say that um, BitApps crew, can we make this a drop down? Because the only way to find this, um, I think at the moment, is to actually look at the database to see what the ideas of the space. So if you wouldn't mind, drop down, please. I mean, come on, <laughs> the, amount of, the amount of other stuff, which is mind blowing. Um, I'm sure I'm not asking too much for a drop down there. Thanks very much. And then we get the email that we saw, which is, hey, welcome to the course. And here's the link and you've got immediate access. And so there you go. It's the etiquette of love bonkers automations with AI. Go and have some fun. Fun indeed. Links are in the description if you want to go get yourself a little discount on Bitflows. And please do get your comments in below. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you're using for automation and AI integration in your WordPress website. And if you want a bit more WordPress action, vid for you right there. But until next time, I shall see you later.